What's up YouTube, welcome back to my channel and today's video we're gonna be looking at Fade. I do apologize for bringing this video a little late. I did sleep since I was up till the update actually launched and I was playing it all morning. So let's get started. Fade, he is a tier one skin that you do obtain in this chapter. Fade, he is a tier one skin that you do obtain during this season. He is a legendary outfit. He is part of the Fade out set. He does have three selectable styles that you do obtain during leveling up, which is level 50. And then the final one is level 100. So without further ado guys, let's get this review started. So Fade, another tier one skin. He's actually the legendary outfit of the tier one skins that you normally do get with every season. The skin itself is pretty cool. I do like him. He gives me like a Mile Morales vibe to him. His hair is pretty cool. And the shirt he has is amazing. I do love this skin, especially because I am a lover of purple. And the skin has a lot of purple that he does have in his outfit. He also reminds me of a drift. Just simply because of the final one, the mass fade. It actually looks pretty cool. It does have a robe similar to Drift did in season 5. And he has the like animation across it that looks very cool, intimidating, and looks amazing. Does he match his rarity? At first glance, you wouldn't think he would actually fit the legendary criteria but like i mentioned previously when you do reach that level 100 he looks amazing that mass he does have is very creepy the skin itself is very cool and i really do love what they actually did with the skin so what's my final rating for fade i'm gonna have to give fade a 9 out of 10. he is the better one of the two tier one skins i do love him a lot the skin itself is amazing color skins is all there the style he does have is pretty cool even though the middle style the one that just has the mask, I'm really not a fan of. But the final style actually made up for him. And that's the one everybody's going to be using towards the end of the season. So, it looks amazing. So, without further ado, guys, let's get this combo started. For the first combination with Fade, I am pairing it up with the Shiryuki Backling. The Shiryuki Backling is a very nice backling. It is a katana, so having it in his back actually makes sense. Especially when he does reach level 100, you are going to have a really cool mask and the backlink itself is going to match perfectly with him. The curse designs are all there, especially that holder that's holding the katana matches perfectly with the color purple he does have. For the harvesting tool, we're going with the medax with the purple edistyle. The reason why I'm using this edistyle and this harvesting tool with this combination is because it's a very clean harvesting tool. It does have a very unique sound that most harvesting tools don't have. The curse scheme is clean, it's very subtle, and it matches really well with the whole combination. And for the glider, we're going with the Dark Glyph. The Dark Glyph itself is an animated glider. It is all purple, it does come to the item shop from Tano's Top, and it's very cheap, and I really do love this glider with this skin. For the Contra, we're going with the Lightning Strike. The Lightning Strike is basically just a Lightning Strike that invokes the character, and looks very cool. The aura around the character is purple, and it just matches really well with him. And for the Rap, we're going with the Gemstone. The Gemstone is an all purple Rap. It actually looks pretty cool. The color similarities to his skin is actually almost identical and overall looks very clean. So enjoy the combo. For the second combination with Fade, I am pairing it up with the Contender Backling. This Backling is actually one of the best Backlings you could obtain in this game. If you actually do like this combination with the Backling, you should save up 200 V-Bucks that you do obtain during the Battle Pass just to get this Backling. The Backling itself uses similar colors to the skin. As you could tell, the black goes very nicely with the color of his pants. And then the purple is obviously going to match the purple very nicely. For the Harvesting Tool, we're going with the Pearl Axe with the Gray Edit Style. As you can tell, the Pearl Axe does have the axe part of it that is glowing purple and that really complements the skin. It also has the handle that is completely all black and it just looks very cool when he's using the harvesting tool. For the glider, we're going with the Storm Cell. As you can tell, the Storm Cell, for some odd reason, is actually glitching as well. The Storm Cell actually looks very fitting with the skin. You did obtain this for free if you actually were playing during Halloween, so I highly suggest you guys using it if you actually do have this glider. For the Contra, we're going with the Glyphs. 
The glyphs actually look pretty cool with him because they are a purple control as you descend to the battlefield. They do leave a purple aura on both hands and it just looks phenomenal with him. And for the rap, we're going with the Storm. The Storm Rabbit is actually one of the best raps you could use with the skin. If you actually use another color purple that's a little bit too bright, it actually throws it off, but this one has a similar great color scheme that the skin does have and it just looks phenomenal together. So enjoy the combo. For the next combination with Fade, I am pairing him up with the Dark Scaly with the Purple Edistyle. The reason why I'm using the Purple Edistyle instead of the default is for the combinations of colors. As you can tell, the back scales of it are purple which really complement the skin nicely. But then on the side, the legs themselves and the backpack also is grayish that really complement the grayish pants. Overall, this is a very nice fitting with him. For the harvesting tool, we're going the Dark Racer. The Dark Racer is actually one of my favorite harvesting tools that is purple. There's not a lot of purple harvesting tools that really match the skin since he does have like a darker fade of purple and the dark racer actually matches it very nicely. It also goes very fitting with the back lane itself and overall this combination is starting to look very lit. And for the glider we're going the cat wing. The cat wing does have an all black aesthetic color scheme to it and then it does have those pinkish purple thrusters that really complement the skin. You did obtain this for free so everybody should have it if you were playing during season 10 and it's a very nice take to the whole combination. And for the control, we're going the Celestial. The Celestial control is a very uh, universal control with all purple skins and it just looks very good. It does have space in the control itself, but the main reason why I'm using it is for that purple color scheme that does come out of both hands. And for the wrap, we're going the Sharp Break. The Sharp Break wrap is an all purple wrap. It is animated, it does glow little by little, and it just looks very cool and it matches really well with the whole combination. So enjoy the combo. For the next combination with Faith, this is one of the cheaper versions of this combination. I'm going to be pairing him up with the Antidote with the Purple Edistel. If you were playing during Season 1 of Chapter 2, you did obtain this Antidote back beam and I have to say, it actually fits in his back very nicely. The purple aesthetics of the back lane itself matches really good with the purple and then the back lane itself being all black matches really good with his shirt and his pants. For the harvesting tool, we're going with the Ultra Scythe. The Ultra Scythe is a harvesting tool you could purchase during Halloween. It is 500 V-Bucks, so it's not going to really hurt the wallet. The main reason why I have it is for that purple color scheme with black that just fits this whole combination nicely. For the glider, we're going with the one shot. The one shot glider is actually a very nice touch to this because purple always looks amazing with black. Whenever you are descending to the battlefield, you are using a very slick matte black finish glider and it just looks amazing with this combination. For the contra, we're going with the dark feathers. The dark feathers looks very clean. It does leave an aura of purple and black in both hands and feet that really complement this whole combination. And for the wrap, we're going with the threads. The threads is another purple wrap that actually complements the skin very nicely. The purple itself is not very vibrant, it's a little bit darker, and it just fits real nicely with the shade of purple the skin does have. So enjoy the combo. For the last combination with Fade, I am pairing him up with the Dark Shield. Now, when I was actually debating on this backlink, I was actually debating between the Dark Shield and the Banner Shield, and the Dark Shield actually won. 
The reason why I want is because it does have a solid purple backlink color and does have those animations of the runes actually glowing. And then when you are playing during the nighttime, the glow actually looks very cool and it matches perfectly with the skin. Now for the harvesting tool, we're going with the Dark Axe. The reason why I'm going with the Dark Axe is because it's similar design and properties to the Dark Shield. A lot of people are going to be saying that's kind of cheating because it is from the same set, but it's not. It's from the same series, it's not the same set. It's like if you're pairing two legendary outfits, and that's basically it. Other than that, the only connection they do have is that they're from the dark set, but it still matches perfectly in my opinion. And for the glider, I'm going with the dark runner. I know, I know, a lot of people really don't have this glider, but for those who actually do, Try it out with this combination. It actually looks very clean. It does look very amazing. And if you don't have this glider, you could um, mix and match from my other combinations and it'll do just as fine. And for the control, we're going to zero point. The zero point with this combination actually looks decent. It does have that glow in his chest that does have that bluish purple color scheme and just matches really well. And for the wrap, we're going to maximum drift. The maximum drift does have lining similar to the glider itself. It also has a metal or silver aesthetics to it that really complements the silver or gray from the skin so enjoy the combo Those are the five combinations I've found so far for Fade. Let me know in the comments below which one's your favorite. And if you're new to my channel, subscribe. I post videos of your fake cosmetic skins every single day. And if you want to support the channel, my code is Enigma Kid, all caps, two Ds, all together. Each time you guys use my code in either the Iron Shop or the Epic Game Store, I do get a small percentage of it and really help the channel grow. Also, my next community combo video will be this Sunday. So I'm going to make a post and hopefully you guys enter all your combinations in the community post. And for all my social medias and discords, they'll be in the description below as well. And with that being said, guys, I'll catch you guys in the next video. See ya.